thanks for stopping by, this is Teresa from Semi Dolls. In this video series we're going to make a doll following the Amelie pattern, including all the hair, the clothes and the shoes. And Amelie is 18 inches tall and can swap clothes with dolls like American Girl, Guts and Our Generation etc. All the other videos in the series are linked down below in a playlist and you can find the link to the pattern down below as well. And now let's get started! Pull the head cover over the doll head. Fold and stitch the fabric to the head, closing the head cover opening at the top of the head. Then stitch the fabric to the buff, the bulgy bit under the neck. Tie a string around the neck to finish off the head. You will now need a stuffing tool to stuff the doll. I'm using a bamboo chopstick, stuffing material, sewing thread that matches the doll skin and a short sewing and a long doll maker's needle. Stuff the arms and legs as tightly as you can. Leave about one inch unstuffed at the top.
skin the top of the legs, leaving about one inch unstuffed. Alternatively, you could close the top of the legs with a few large stitches. Pin the legs to the inside of the body or torso piece. And sew the legs to the body while sewing across the bottom edge of the torso piece. I like to sew two seams to make it more sturdy and or to even out an uneven seam. So the first time round I didn't catch all the fabric perfectly so I'm just sewing over it again as you can see here. Pull the torso fabric back up carefully and remove the pins. If you do not remove them carefully you might snag the fabric there and that's something we really do not want. Stuff the belly halfway.
Next, sew the arms to the muff on both sides. Make sure it is symmetrical and leave a little piece unstuffed at the top of the arms so they have some range of movement. Then turn the top of the torso edge over about 3.5 cm and pin it to the neck. I usually start at the left side of the neck and sew all the way around in tiny stitches with a ladder stitch or invisible back stitch. I like to make really small stitches to make the seam as even as possible. I also have a video on my channel with a bit more of a close-up to show how exactly I'm sewing all these seams here to make them as even and neat as possible and I'll link that video down below as well. You can go around a couple of times if you like to even out gaps and or to secure the seam really well.
Make sure the arm is evenly positioned under the neck. Pull the back torso fabric to the front and secure it and pull the front torso fabric to the back and sew them together in the center of the side of the neck. That sounds really complicated. I hope you can just have a look at what I'm doing here and understand what I mean. Continue sewing the torso fabric to the neck until you get back to the left shoulder. Once you are back at the left shoulder, stuff the belly nice and tight through the armholes.
Now close the left shoulder seam. Stuff the shoulder a little bit more if desired. Then go all the way around the top of the arm, closing the armhole. Go around a couple of times if you like. I typically like to just make the stitches so nice and tiny that I don't have to go around several times, but I usually go around one and a half times just to make the top look really nice and neat. I am starting a new thread to close the right shoulder seam.
Close the right shoulder seam in the same way you sewed the left one and sew around the top of the right arm in the same way too. If you still have some thread left, you can take a long needle and go from the shoulder through to the position of the belly button. Otherwise, start a new thread and sew the belly button in the same way we made the nose. Sew from side to side in a circle until the belly button pops out. And then we are done with the doll body for now. Now it's time to discover the little personality of the doll. In the next video we are going to embroider the face, the eyes and the mouth. And that video is linked down below in the playlist as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye!